For decades, we've known that lead pipes are a big risk, especially for kids. Even small levels can cause behavioral problems or a lower IQ in children, small levels of lead. And yet, right now, we have tens of thousands of these lead pipes coursing underneath the district. So this evening, our Evan Kozlov looks into two new bills in D.C., which is aiming to get rid of these pipes in the city. This interactive map right here shows the scope of the problem. First, look at all the green and blue dots. That's where there's good news. That's all the sites where it's confirmed or suspected that the pipes are not lead. But look at all these red or orange spots that you see all across the city. That's where we've got some trouble. That's where they know or suspect that there are lead pipes. All in all, an estimated 42,000 lead pipes in D.C. alone. And today, the D.C. Council discussed a pair of bills to try and remove these pipes completely by 2030. I look forward to hearing from the witnesses today. Council Chair of the Transportation Committee, Charles Allen. This is already long overdue. And Councilmember Janice Lewis-George taking public comment about a pair of bills to eliminate lead pipes in D.C. Our children are at risk every day that we delay. The bills focus on service lines, which connect the water main in the center of the street to people's homes. They're partially on public land and partially on private. These bills would require that all lead service lines be replaced by 2030. Homeowners can get these repairs at no cost by joining the Lead Service Line Replacement Program. But if they fail to do so, they could start facing fines in the summer of 2025. But of course, all of this takes money. In March 2022, we shadowed DC Water as they replaced a pipe in Northeast DC, estimating that replacing just one pipe would cost ten dollars to $15,000. And just last week, DC Water announced that the cost estimates had gone way up. From $629 million to roughly $1.5 billion. David Gaddis, the CEO and general manager of D.C. Water, testified that a big reason for the spike was that they discovered more lead pipes in the city. A funding commitment is urgently needed to ensure that the financial burden of the project is not directly passed uh, to the customers through rate increases. And another part of this bill has to do with job creation. It calls for the training of 50 DC residents per training cycle in the process of service line replacements. That way they could create new jobs while getting rid of all of this dangerous lead. For WSA 9, I'm Evan Kozloff. Now, if you're curious whether or not lead pipes service your home, text the word lead to 202-895-5599. We're gonna text you back with a link to a map of all the lead pipes that are underneath DC.